Hi, this is Bob from Bob's O-Gage Trains. Welcome to the first installment of my channel. We'll be primarily talking about O-Gage Trains, accessories, various models that come out and things to do with the layout. This is a real quick view of my train room. I have a lot of display shelves on the wall just to hold the various cars and extra pieces that I'm not currently running. It just makes it a real a lot easier to grab and go and switch things out. I do have a very small end gauge layout. Um, end gauge I got from my dad many years ago and I still keep it active and alive. Then we go back up to the O gauge. My O gauge layout is 8 by 24. The first accessory we'll show is the billboard made by Menards. It's lit up. It's a very nice looking product. The signs you can change, they give you a dozen or so different signs that you could customize to what you like. The billboard itself runs for around 20 bucks, which is very nicely priced. On this side, we have the Maytag repairman. And then when we flip to the other side, we have what everybody loves are the M&Ms. It's a great product and it's only about 20 bucks for Menards. Another great accessory I have is the Menards nuclear power plant. It sells for around $80, but once again, like most Menards products, they usually come with some form of mail-in rebate, so it makes it well worth the money. This is a beautiful setup. It's very nicely made, has the rotating lights in the nuclear plant, has the silo, and really, really adds a lot as far as detailing and something to look at in the layout. It looks really, really nice and a great addition. Another Menards accessory that I have is the spaceship. It's very nicely done. It's around $79, once again with a rebate. It operates with the cow going up and down into the spaceship like it's being adopted. The lights blink different colors here and there. Way in the front, if you notice, that they have a couple aliens that are infiltrating. Uh, it's a very nice accessory. Looks really good. And once again, like all Menards products, very nicely constructed, very nicely built and a really great looking addition to the layout. The next item I bought, I actually picked up from eBay. I didn't pick up from Menards because they were sold out when I got interested into it, is the Army Hut. It's very nicely done, and the front has a LED above the doors to light everything up. Looks really, really good on top of the mountain. I have it placed next to my nuclear plant, and it's a really nice looking accessory, very nicely done. And it's actually made out of plaster. It's not a plastic model, so it's very durable. And as a joke, I put a bear up on the top of the roof just to scare everybody away, but it's a very nice product. This is a front view of everything I have on the top of the mountain. This, of course, is the nuclear power plant with the nuclear reactor lights blinking on and off and the silo. It's very well lit and a great accessory. If you look all the way on the top of the ceiling, the revolving lights from the nuclear power plant spin around and it does look very, very nice in a nighttime scene. Then of course, next to the nuclear power plant is the army hut. And then to the right of that is the spaceship with the cow going up and down like it's being abducted by the aliens. All three are on top of my mountain and look really, really good and add a lot of action and they are a great eye catcher. This is what everything looks like in the nighttime scene. To the right, we have the Menards lit billboard. Then of course, we have the FedEx building. They are both very well lit with LEDs and look great in a night scene. Then of course, we go to the mountain and we have the spaceship with the cow abduction. We go to the left of that and then we have the army hut and then we go a little to the left of that to the nuclear power plant. It's very nicely done. 
It's actually the very first Menards accessory I bought. I really love the addition. It makes a lot of difference to the layout and looks really, really good. Uh, the br lights shine very brightly across the ceiling as well, so it is really an eye catcher and really sticks out. Now we get to the fun part. The very first Menards locomotive ever issued. They issued the iconic Santa Fe Scale F3. This is a scale model. It comes ne nicely packaged. I already took out the styrofoam inserts that protect it during shipping. It comes with chrome we wheels, chrome side frames, and chrome couplers. It is a scale version. The little pop-up windows in the plastic talk about the various features that it does come with. Along with the locomotive, you get a remote that runs it. I will show you how to operate everything on the locomotive. It does require AAA batteries that you simply take out a screw in the back of the remote and add. But the whole thing works, runs, and sounds really, really good. And it came at a great price. It's the very first Menards locomotive, the F3 Santa Fe. It's a great looking model. It pulls very good. I picked up a couple MTH Streamline Santa Fe passenger cars to go with it. Comes with LED lighting, horn bell, and crew talk. It's a great looking model. It pulls good. It looks good. The sounds are pretty good, but keep in mind this is not a command control engine. This is a conventional engine. The selling price was $150. If they keep it close to that point, or even a little bit above that, they should have a big seller because it's well worth the money and a great looking model. One of the best features this locomotive has is the crew talk. It's clear, it's crisp, and it's specifically designed for this locomotive. Then let's go. Dispatcher, 3945 East is ready to proceed. Dispatch, I see the signal has gone from red to green. We are moving. This is an example of the bell. The only item in this locomotive that I really think needs a little bit of improvement is the horn. But keep in mind it is their first model and I'm sure they will develop something a little bit better sounding. Uh, when you do hit the horn button, you only get a slight blast of the horn. You can't get a crossing signal or a long toot. If you simply hit the horn button, that's what you get. The bell does sound very good and goes for quite a long time. With the horn, if you simply hold your horn button down and keep tapping it, you can get a much longer blast of the horn and a little bit more realistic. All in all, it's a great model. I think it's very nicely priced and I'm very sure that based on how well it's sold, Menards will be coming out with a lot of different locomotives, different paint schemes. They did really well with this on the first time out. It's a great looking model. It pulls great. It looks great. Uh, the one thing to remember though is on the top of the roof where the vents are, this locomotive does not come with a smoke unit and the vents are sealed up so you can't put smoke fluid into it. So it does not smoke, but it really doesn't matter. It's a great looking model and well worth the money. I want to thank everybody for tuning in. Like, subscribe, follow, recommend to all your friends. And here we go to start it up. It does start a little hard, but it is a conventional model. It's not command control. We're, we're used to starting it up at one or two miles an hour. You just give the remote a little bit of a push and she takes off. It's followed by four MTH passenger cars streamlined. 
I took apart and added some passengers, so it's a really good-looking train.